Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are going tankering, we are spreading some slurry with the tanker. So, i explain all as we go but we're starting off by spreading our, the last bit of tillage we've done, the maize ground which we should get sown tomorrow, hopefully get ploughed this evening but we've got about 6 load upon 5 acres. So without further ado, we're going to bait on and get it done because the pressure's kind of on to get that done. So, this is where we're sowing the maize, that's our bit of dung, hopefully we have enough there and may have to bring up another bit, but um, yeah, there is a fair bit of our crap growing on it, but the plough will knock that and then the harrow will take it out of it. But one thing I want to show you before we get started, we're using the hydraulic 2,500 gallon Abbey tanker, but we got sent up this easy splash from Cahill to give a go, see what we thought of it. And this is the first time I spread well, it's the first time we've got this bit on, but as you can tell, that's already been on. Father Phil liked the look of it and he put it on the dribble bar tanker and he was he was well impressed with it. So basically all, all it is is it comes right flush down with that and it just helps guide the slurry. The big issue we've always had, especially with the dribble bar tanker, is blow back the slurry back onto the dribble bars. You've seen it, it's always bloody filthy. But Father Phil, and I didn't get to see it, but Father Phil said he was very happy with that. Very little blowback, triple bar staying a lot cleaner. So we'll see what it's like on, on this tank and now see what kind of spread we got off it. The other thing with this is you have this. So yeah, you can fold it up. So if you have anything stuck in it, it's easier to go out. And if you're transferring stuff around the yard, you can use the lollipop. So yeah does that too and it's slightly shorter back I, I put the old one beside it and it's slightly shorter back to the tanker as well so yeah, we'll see how it goes but if anyone is interested in that there'll be a um, phone number in the description you can get in touch with Cahill we'll see how it goes yeah but Father Phil was impressed with what he done and he, he spread quite a bit of story with it with just the splash bit on the dribble bar so anyways <coughs> we um, get going I get this field spread six five acres six load should do the job rightly and we're ready. that's the beans coming up out there there's a nice crop of them Funny how the peeing, there's not a bit of dirt on the outside run, but there's dirt on the inside. Funny how that come, but I don't know. Anyway, getting away here. So, I have a blockage. I didn't intend on showing off this this quick. Let's open that. Pop it back. That's it. Push that back. We're ready to go. Never as handy as that. Yeah, yeah, that that is that is shocking handy. Did you ever have to take off the clamps off one of them to take out a block like that? You spend at least two or three minutes trying to line it up square again. That just comes back square straight away. So that's the first load emptied. So we are bait on home and we have to, we have to, we're at the minute we're taking slurry out of our slatted tanks. So that's where we finished the one we finished the bulls on. So it's real powerful, strong slurry, but it is very thick. So we're taking loads of stuff out of the reception pit, which is the runoff from the dung pit. So that's nice and watery and we're filling it into that, stirring a bit, getting a bit out. That's where we're at. So not just a quick in and out with loads it takes a few minutes to get a load but anyways we'll be a hand home we get the next load load number two
Load number three. Load number four. And I most certainly misjudged how um, my speed and, and overlap because, um, yeah, then we're running out of ground now. Anyway, we'll just have to put the next two load back across all of us. But it's not ideal. But anyways, what can you do? Load number five going out. We'll do around the gap and then we'll go around outside of the field and just as hard as we can across it. And uh, we'll leave it at that then. Because all I'm going to do now is start bringing the muck out onto the road. So don't really want to do that. So we'll put this load out. And then the dung and plow, but um, separate issue with then I'll be going plowing this. I will pick up again tomorrow when we get spreading slurry on the bit we mowed and some grazing ground that's been there all. So I get some slurry out. So yeah, anyways, we'll spread this load and we'll pick it up tomorrow. So now it is day number two at slurry. So we finished up the maze with that plow that is finished. I'm in the 99 and uh, 2500 gallon Abbey Premium with the dribble bar. Father Phil is in the 6290 with the other tanker and we're spreading our own ground at the minute. Grazing ground. That's been grazed off. So we're spreading cattle and pig mix. Same as the last day. We're not taking it out of the slatted shed. We're taking it out of the store this time. Uh, we're leaving what's in the slatted shed now to go out after the first cut because it's really good stuff. It should get should get a good response from it. Hopefully get away with very little fertilizer. We don't have much left. I think we have a little bit. We just have enough to do the maze and we may have maybe one bag over. So yeah. And then that's all the fertilizer gone. So anyways I'm going to back myself in here eventually. So we get filled up and we get spreading. We no longer have a tanker with a PTO. Everything is run at the hydraulic. With this tanker or this splash bit, you get slurry, it always gets pegged back onto the double bar. It's always a bloody nuisance. So, I hope my mic is walking, mic is walking, mic is walking. A little bit windy. We're splashing and you're probably wondering why, why with the dribble bar would you splash your grazing ground? The reason for it is, we're spreading very watery, well when I say watery, pig slurry in general is thin, it's not thick. But the lollipop on the tanker, so this one here, the casting is gone on it. I'll open up the expectation plate, so I don't know how well you can see. Push. Where the lollipop closes into the casting, into that casting, why does happen? It is, uh, it's gone, and it's not sealing shut very well at all. And if you're spreading watery stuff through the dribble bar, it will. You get very hard to fill the tanker off, and the reason that's that loose is so you can take it off and stuff shift around it. And it happened to me once, spreading pig slurry. Hit me load, went off down the road. Next thing, I can see the lines behind me start coming out the dribble bar. So we only use the dribble bar at the minute with thick stuff. We have to change that. Uh, the reason it's gone like that is because it's a steel or an iron cast lollipop or, or casting. And with stones going through it, when you be opening or closing the lollipop, it's taking little chips out of the casting, and it's got to the stage now where it's not sealing. So we have to change that. If we can get away with it, if we think we can get away with it, we'll put one of the springs on it, because they are brass housing and it doesn't chip. I think if that if everything can line up, that's what we will do. That's why we're not dribble bar. We only dribble bar with that when it's thicker or when we really have to. Because we don't want to do slurry on the road. And the reason they won't come out of it at the minute is because it's been shut and it's sealed itself with, with muck. So it, it's safe to it won't they won't come out through it. So yeah. Anyways, while that is filling, we get the power washer going and we'll 
wash down some of the tanker. Show me loving. I need your loving. Cause I'm drowning in something and I can't come out. Just show me loving. So, here we are now. This is where we done the fencing earlier in the year. So, we were debating about putting grass on this bit here. Or slurry on this bit here. Because there's grass is a little bit shy of itself now. Um, but decided not to. He's going to um, go pow a bit of that expense of white gold so he is. And see can we bring it on. Where our intentions is to cut hay off the middle of this field and hay off that field next to the road there. Uh, hopefully make a couple of hundred bales. Uh, that's kind of our plan to sell. Uh, keep a few pounds flowing during the summer for the farm. Um, but the bulbs we took off down here this morning. So not going to take a lot to do it. But we get a spread. We have another field then on the inside, the far side of the trees to spread. Again, not much in it. And then, yeah, that, that's kind of all we have to spread now for ourselves today. And we have a bit to do for our customer too, where we were bailing the other day. So I might film some of that. I'll see how we get on. See how we go on. And yes, the back window is quite dirty from slurry. So I'll get that wash when I get back. Right. Memory. Push this. Push that back out. Pull it. Lock it. So it's harder with one, with one hand. Pull that. Reset throttle. Dirty too, not using the auto steer or any of that because there's two of us spreading. So I, I don't know if there's any advantage in using it when there's two of us at it. It'd be wet enough down here, but should be uh, normally it'd be wet enough down here, but it should be dry enough to spread without any issues. So we we'll get this this bit spread. A proud gay her owner in action. Cleaned up. I have to wait now, can't do any more washing until I get the power washer off her. Anyways, yeah. We get load number two, Phil. So we'll go out here into this field and we get hit spread. I think that's it then. Uh, we nearly have all our the pig slur we have in the store gone. There is a woeful crust in the store. And I know we talk about lots of things we're going to do and never get done, but if we ever get the digger sorted, um, we're going to, to scoop out the store and get rid of it. There's half a ring of solids in the store. So yeah. Anyways, we get this spread and yeah. This spread. It's just drizzling and not drizzling. It doesn't know where it's going, rain or not, so that's why I haven't popped the drone, but I'd probably if I'm on the job um, for the customer, I'd bring the cameras with me and we'll show you that one on. So, absolutely love the hydraulic spools or the hydraulic motor for pumping. No PTO. Safe as safe gets. That you know, lots of grass there for them. So. If we can at all too, we're going to cut this one as well. Maybe he, maybe somebody else's silage. Uh, none of these fields are going to line up for pit silage anyways. Um, so that's kind of our thinking. And I'm also hoping that when we do, if we do get them cut, when we get them cut, I'm going to stitch in some fresh grass. Because this is rented ground, we have it on a long term lease. Uh, six years or that. Um, this field isn't too bad, but the bigger field is not growing that well. I think putting new grass in it would be a great job. And stitching in the grass with the grass harrow versus spraying it off and tilling it and all of that is a far handier, cheaper way of getting fresh grass into a better receded or rented ground where you're not going to get the longevity out of the grass, but we need better grass. We need to grow better. And also, there's where I got stuck with the tanker. That's all of Fucking out slurry here. So, yeah. Take over there. Anyways, we get this bit spread and we go back for another look. Tanker's looking nice and clean now. Well, cleaner! Just wait for it now. Also, yeah, we're drilling the shed. 
we didn't buy a pottinger drill. That drill is down to Soda Maze. Our uncovered maze. That's a separate video. We'll talk about that in a separate video. But that's what that's there for. We didn't buy one. Not yet anyways. This is my last load. We're leaving the reception pit empty. So I'm not going to get another one out with Father Phil and get the last of it. So the store is empty now too. Hitting that there cuts off the supply of oil to the pump, so I don't need to get into the tractor. On the other tanker, which is a hydraulic tanker too, you always had to get into the tractor, turn it off, get back out, then do all that I'm doing now. But with that um, uh, his safe, shaft, safe shaft system, that lever on the outside, it just knocks off the flow of oil. Brilliant. Never have to be worrying about getting caught. Because there's nothing to get caught in. Hydraulic is the way to go. But if you're wondering, is that not going to not let me spread? If I push it, it pops back out. So putting it on the other way, it pops back out that spool. And I'm ready to go. Would really like one of them yokes on the other tanker. Easier. and my sight glass isn't working so well it doesn't say I'm full but I'm full and as you've seen there it didn't go up until I turned it off so yeah anyways we'll be on with my last load out of arm and now that's all our story spread for today so I think I'll pick it up again when we go back out for higher and spread that bit of silent scrum we mowed on bail the other day um, not going to take very long to get it done but it's just getting that a bit out and it is on a farm that's on wetter ground so it's good to when you can get it out get it out so yeah we'll pick it up the next day when we're at that just to make some more tanking content because hasn't been a lot of it because I don't normally get to do this job. I'm normally a hundred things. Anyways, we'll pick it up the next day. I need loving. I need myself in love. It's like being a doctor or crushing heart. I want you to know how bad it hurts. You can't be sad along my heart. to be that this probably made very little to no sense what one went up for the little to no sense but how and ever so with that finished got some more drone footage more of that so anyways we're gonna go home now we're gonna get this tanker washed opened up and cleaned out yeah exciting things coming you can probably tell what might be coming or might be happening anyways put it on home
So the tanker is washed, we're ready to open it. We're debating about how much gravel is going to be in it. I say to full the telepower bucket. Liv thinks to full of a little blue bucket. Father Phil says, fuck all. Thank you. So yeah, what do you think? Leave a comment down below how much gravel is going to be in this tank. Oh, well, stuff. <laughs> 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 you were down camera. Now. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds great, He's happy out now. <laughs> Different things. <laughs> no hair. <laughs> All hair. That brain right. nose is too hot. Here we go. These are some big stones. Cobble stones, this side. Cobble stones. That's it. Here, grab it. Not a little. Small buffer. We'll it. see when we get it scrapped out. It was right. Small buffer. No, no, it doesn't work. more in it. No, no. Maybe there'll be treasure in it. Could be gold. It was gold. Could be gold hunters now, huh? And a lot of sifted out to the bottom. We might get the <laughs> price of another tanker out of it. <laughs> so before we get in there and clean it out, we're gonna leave it to um Ariel itself. So better be safe than sorry. So just inside the belly of the beast, that's the hole. Live is outside just in case. And uh, yeah, just have to wash out a bit of gravel there. But this is what the inside of a two and a half thousand gallon slurry tanker looks like. Pretty good. Anyways, I get that bit of gravel washed out. She's ready to go. And no, that is that tanker gravel out. Very disappointed. Liv was right. A little bucket worked. There she is, minding me. And yeah, no, just that's a really, really good piece of glass that we find the car in in the cab. Yeah, no, the window broke. The, the door broke, didn't it? Liv? Yeah, the joys. They're fucking expensive too. But anyways, so that is the tanker washed out, cleaned up. So it's heavy up. That's the first time I've been in a tanker like that. It's quite cool. I was in. That one there, which was a tanker we now use as a bowser. That's it, ready for off. Can you guess what we're doing? Probably most of you can, but your guess anyways in the comments down below. It's quite windy, but we're going to leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in learning more about the Easy Splash, you can check out the phone numbers in the description down below. As you've seen when we just got started, very, very easy. And also, if you're wondering, the very start when we were spreading the maze, we didn't have that great spreading width, and that is because our pressure release valve here was gone. And when Father Phil used it the next day or the day after, whenever we I was spreading with the dribble bar tanker, he was like, "No, that's not right." So I went and I took that apart, and no, I think he put it into the skip. But the the whole insides of it had fallen apart, so that's why I didn't have great spreading width. That's why I had great spreading width yesterday when i was doing that bit but anyways look we're going to leave it to that as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck